Oh, okay. Um, slow, sorry for the slow start this morning. Um, camera also seems to be a little off center. Cool. Um, so, it, yeah, um, had some difficulty because the wonderful build, um, also just eats way too much of my CPU to both build and stream at the same time. Uh, so that's been a little rough. Um, but it looks like the audio is working. It looks like the stream is working, albeit kind of slowly. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and hope. I'm going to re-nice some processes really quickly. Um, and so... Okay. Ah, shit. Okay. Actually, uh, did this just finish running? No. Okay. It's not completely finished running, but it's far... Okay. It finished running, so I don't actually have to worry about updating my process, uh, re my processes, and we can go into trying to build some stuff today. Uh, so let's have a party with that. Um, I'm just going to double check that this is working in both places. Lovely. Um, and so in theory, also in the chat window, so let's talk about what it is we're building today. Um, control 2 is normally the one that I want. Yay! Okay. Um, so as you can see, um, just built a container image here uh, for the Python SDK. Um, and let's we're going to go ahead and look at some of the things that are going on. Um, so the first one is there's this tracking Jira for Flink Run's portable pipelines. Um, and this is, there's a new design document, um, a new design of how we want to organize our pipelines in, uh, in the Beam world. Um, and this is cool. It containerizes things. Um, it makes it easier to have different languages supporting different backends. Um, and all in all, like a really good thing. But, I mean, we have to write a bunch of new code to actually support this. Um, and my camera is off center here, too. Oh. Wah, wah. Uh, hmm. This one's harder to fix. Um, okay, we're just going to get a big version of Holden for today, and we'll figure out why it's broken another day. Um, sorry for, well, the scale is down a little. Do, do, do. Anyways, um, so this is cool. Uh, and so this uh, this is called the portability framework. Um, portability framework is a little bit confusing because Beam itself is designed to be portable. Um, and so it can support multiple backends. And today we're going to look at the new work uh, being done in theory to support this on top of Flink. Um, there's already a Flink runner, but this is uh, would let us run Go. Um, stuff on top of Flink and Python and other languages that are being added. Um, and so let's go ahead and see if this actually works. Um, I just built the Python containers. Um, and so uh, that's fine. Um, but I also had built the uh, Go containers as well. Um, and so I'm going to try and start up our little job server. Yeha, runners, blink, build, libs, blink deploy.jar. Uh, I don't want that log level for now. We're going to hope that I don't need trace level logging. Um, 
if this doesn't work out, you know, we'll come back and we'll up the logging level. That's a nice little job server. Um, and now, let's see what happens. Oh, right, I had some leftover Spark code. Um, oh, yeah, this is from yesterday's adventures. Uh, we can see that actually building it with Hive didn't do what I thought it would do. Um, I'm gonna just Build Maven clean uh, nice dash n nineteen nice dash n nineteen. Um, sorry, I'm not great at doing one thing at a time, uh, but just want to make sure that this is going to use the right jars. Um, this is we're not running in Spark uh, today. Right, so we're also going to switch our Python environments around. Uh, beam. And we're going to try and kick off a really, really simple... That did not build. Um, okay, let's go ahead and build the go examples. See SDKs. Go build in yeah. Okay, looks like I only built part of the examples, so I'm gonna go ahead and build the go examples, which are the ones I want to run today. Um, it's possible. That this will cause the live stream to free. Oh, damn it! There we go. Um, so I'll just run it at a high enough nice level that hopefully it won't actually, you know, freeze anything. Uh, we'll build the Go SDK, and this will hopefully give us a very nice word count example that we can run, which I know is everyone's favorite way to start off their Tuesday morning. Um, and I know I said um, on my Twitter that I do this on Wednesday, and on YouTube I said that I do it on Tuesday. So I'm actually just going to do this in two parts. I'm going to do Go today, and tomorrow morning I'll do Python. Um, although, if the Go SDK ends up giving trouble, I'll switch it over and do um, Python first, and then, then Go second. Um, hmm. Leave that running. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Uh, this is going to take a second or two, so I'm going to go ahead and just do some stuff in the Spark thing that I'm also working on. So clean, compile, package, assembly. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I want to. I'm going to. While this is happening. To profiles. No, I don't. Hmm. I don't normally stash p high, right? Yeah. Oh, maybe it depends on high thrift server. I could see that as well. Uh, that being said, I'm just going to build with it. Okay, let's go see how our Go build is coming along. Not done yet. Ah. <sighs> 
It's a good thing that I'm used to multitasking. Um, and sorry for the multitasking. Um, it's just uh, I no longer have foam swords. Um, and also, since I don't actually bother going into the office that much, I don't have anyone to have foam sword fights with while I'm waiting uh, for my builds to finish. Um, but I guess we can go back and talk about the Jira while we're here. Um, Alright, so this is the tracking Jira for um, Attic Blink. As you can see, lots of things are in progress. This is this is not finished. Uh, you should not expect this functionality to be in Master. Um, you know, you can go and, and find the, the specific um, individual branches that people are using, check them out, and try them out, which is what we're what we're doing today, because I, I really want this thing to work. Um, and part of why I'm going to do Go first is one of my friends um, over at Token Transit uh, is working with uh, trying to get um, some Go data work done on top of Beam. Um, and they're having some trouble with the, the local mode executor, because it's, it's also a work in progress. And so I was hoping that maybe uh, some of this might work also with the Flink one for them to try out, um, just sort of while they're doing their development locally. Um, yeah, as we can see, there's, there's lots of stuff. Um, but yeah, this is all on the dev at beam.apache.org list. And so if you're actually interested in working on this, you know, please do come join us um, on the dev beam apache org list. Okay. Still building. That's cool. Uh, well, let's see. Mm, Spark one's going to take a while, too. This is a great opportunity Oof, for me to get a cup of coffee. Oh, sorry. Funny Reno, or whatever. Okay. Hmm. Well, actually, while this is running, what about if we go and look at um, the word count example that we're almost certainly going to kick off in the meantime. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so these are both in the Spark project. We're going to go back into Beam. Um, the different languages are under the SDKs directory. As we can see, there's Go, Java, Python. Um, we're going to look in Go today. And uh, there should be yeah, an examples directory. Uh, everyone's favorite word count, but there's also, there's a lot of other things in here as well. Um, but let's, let's just start with word count and open up everyone's favorite word count .go. Oh, and there's a nice, uh, little detailed walkthrough, um, that we can see here. Um, all right, and we can see that we can run it on different runners. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and be using the Flink runner, um, today. And uh, because I'm just running this on my local machine and I don't have the GCS credentials or anything cached on my local machine, I'm just going to use a, use a local file uh, for, my, for my output. Um, yep. Uh, this is actually pretty funny, or I mean, I find this funny to me. Uh, the input, oh, actually, okay, it is using GS, so I may have to set up some credentials. Uh, although, hopefully, that's just world readable. Uh, very well could be. Um, my first time at Google, I taught a class called Searching Shakespeare for New Hires, um, along with a few other people who would rotate through. And so it's it's really fun um, that essentially the, the examples look a lot like the examples that we used to teach new hires five years ago um, and probably for for longer before that as well um, and that class has, has since moved on to the great curriculum in the sky as, as the world improves but um, I, I was poking around internally and i found some of the old videos of when we were trying to turn it into some video trainings okay uh let's see if we've got any more progress? Oh yay! Build finished! Um, I really should have made it a sound, but that's fine. Go build. Yeah, okay. 
here. This is in a different place. And I thought it was going to be, but that's fine. Cool. So word count. Run it against. Um, I always find it entertaining to run word count on word count, so let's go ahead and do that. We're not going to run it on the bin, um, just because that would not be very useful. Or I mean, yeah, word count dot go uh, dash dash output equals temp word count of word count. Uh, okay, and we're going to use the same endpoint that we set up over in our job server. Cool. Localhost on port 3000. Um, okay. Let's see if this works. Um, oh. <laughs> oh, well, okay. That's a no. Um, oh, I misspelled the word runner. So that's a, that's a really solid start. To the morning. Uh, oh, shit. Okay. Did this actually start? <gasps> Submitted a job. Do, 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 do. Do we have any? I probably should have used tracing. That that would have been more interesting. Oh, I probably should have also run this at nice level 19. Um, because my mouse just stopped working. And so there's a good chance that my video did too. Oh. Hopefully my mouse comes back along with the video. We will see. Okay, so that was obviously very unintentional. Um, Glorious Computer decided that that was a great time to uh, crash hard. Um, or, more accurately, uh, probably pushed it outside of the heat envelope. Um, maybe sitting on top of my beanbag chair uh, is not the greatest approach for allowing uh, it to cool. Um, but... While I was away with my reboot, something amazing arrived in the mail, namely, oh, other way around, Jolt Cola! So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and kick, uh, kick those things back off. I'm gonna kick them off at nice list level 19 instead, so hopefully, uh, my system won't hard freeze. I'm also gonna actually run it with the suggesting logging level of trace, uh, so that if it does hard freeze, uh, we'll see what it's doing right before it locks up. So, uh, Adventure Part 2, Electric Boogaloo. Um, let's keep this adventure rocking. Uh, okay. Do, 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 do. And thanks for hanging with me during the technical difficulties. Uh, I definitely need to open this Jolt Cola, though. Uh, maybe I'll start off the job first, and then I'll open the cola. Uh, yeah, I'm working on Beam. Um, in retrospect, my habit of doing three different things at the same time, like making a spark assembly, running these tests, uh, okay, attempt number whatever, two and a half. Um, that time it was my Wi-Fi that decided to go for a break. Um, so... The joys of running uh, Linux on the desktop never cease to amaze. Um, hopefully this time, not an overheat. I did. It did have a chance to cool down, and I've moved it to the edge of uh, the beanbag chair. So hopefully... Oh, okay, right. Nice dash N, plus 19. I probably do need to change my power management settings, but that's... You need to move quickly and then move the car forward. Okay, uh, I have to move some things. You don't have to do it right now. But I will uh, do this. Yeah. 
first libs, flink deploy jar. Come on. Uh, no, I'm still gonna try the Apache dot beam dot runners dot flink dot flink job server driver. Okay, well, use the same job host as last time. Localhost 3000. Okay. Um, that's cool. Let's go ahead. SDKs, go. Examples. Uh, build. Bin WordCat. Okay, yeah, yes. Yeah. Oh, Linux. There. Word count. Oof. Okay. Input equals. SDKs go. Examples. Word count. Word count dot go. Okay. That's cool. Output. Oh, right. Nice dash n plus 19. Attempt. Boop. And then. Worker. Cool. Okay, it's going to yell at me because I spelled something wrong. Uh, missing, but not defined. I am, I am not doing well at spelling the word runner today. Okay. So, let's see if this freezes. I still have a mouse. That's promising. We have, okay, cool. Awesome, so, oh, yes, you um, It actually ran, which is exciting. Um, I mean, it's, uh, mm, okay. It ran, and then it failed. But at least it didn't crash my computer this time. So we'll call this closer towards success. Uh, let's go ahead and see what it said over here. Um, job state running, job state done. Well, let's see if maybe temp boop. Yeah, it did not, it did not make that output file. Um, that's, that's more or less fine. Um, ooh, although it's possible that it's sourcing the input file from inside the container which could be why referencing wordcount.go is making sadness, and I should reference some generic thing. Okay, I'm gonna re reference Etsy profile, because that should be inside the container as well. Normally we'd point this at like GS or something like that, uh, but I'm not, okay. Now it said it ran, and uh, that, that, that don't look so good either. Okay, uh, let's go ahead. Yeah, that's that's didn't happen either. Oh, unless that's outputting, that shouldn't be inside of the container. Well, let's go ahead and read these logs. Mm -hmm. So we can see it, it definitely started flank, um, and. Got the artifact. Oh, manager. I mean, this actually, this exception doesn't look bad. The main thing is that I don't actually see my output file where I would expect it to be. So that's not the greatest. I'm gonna go ahead and run the Python example, because the Python example uh, doesn't try and output to a file right now. Oh, little Boo came to join me. Hey, everyone. Okay. Um, so, I mean, the Go word count example, it starts, it runs. I'm not 
super sure it actually works though, because the output file is, you know, uh, not there. But actually, yeah, what about if we ask it to go somewhere it clearly can't? Cannot write. Um. Or at least if it was trying to write to the local file system. Uh, it's possible it's running as root inside of the container. Yeah, okay, this doesn't really tell me anything. But, better than nothing. Uh, we're going to go ahead and try the Python examples though, now, though. Do, do, do. Where's our examples? Oh, it's like... Okay. Um... Oh, we have to use a special version of word count, though. Because we don't have side inputs working in the Python Flink one just yet. Uh, okay, it's Python Flink dash example. Okay. Cool. Oh, I don't have my beam python environment activated. Okay, well, that failed, but that's cool, because it was trying to run in local mode. And it probably needs some configuration parameters that it's just not telling us. So let's go ahead and look in the code really quickly. Do, do, do. Okay, it's hard coded to read from GS. And I probably don't have those credentials set up on this machine right now. Um, the split's hard coded, and the map output is hard coded. Okay. Um, I can go into little BRB mode and set up my GS credentials. Um, actually, wait, I do have GS credentials. Uh, I think I do. Let's find out. GS util cat. That's, no, this is not giving me what I want. Oh, this is, Ooh, it made a beeping sound. I don't know why. I hope it wasn't important. Okay, cat. Cool. Let's see, can I read this input? Yeah, okay, I can read the input, so that should be fine. Uh, or at least it should be somewhat fine. What was it complaint? Mm, cat was maybe not the right call. Okay, this uses the universal local runner. It's hard-coded to point at localhost 3000, so it's a good thing that we put it there. Okay, definitely tried to run. Definitely not very happy. Invalid load key. Interesting. Interesting. Pipeline is in a failed state, so invalid load key. Uh, let's go and find this error message. Um, could be in here. Could really be anywhere though. That could also be cool. Um, for instruction. 
option two. So this is completable future, SDK harness. Hmm. So, yeah, trying to restart or fail job. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Oh crap, I wonder if they're using different Pythons. Uh, that's not good. Oh, I don't have a Chrome session running right now. Um, okay, whatever. We'll put that one aside. And we're going to go ahead and actually try using the Go one with two GS targets. Um, we're going to use Boo examples, uh, I think. Um, when I'm in the right directory. Ooh, okay, well, on the plus side, it failed. So, it did something different. Uh, IO manager removed, job execution failed. Uh, invalid, okay. Google API 404 not found. Um, so it's possible. GS util ls gs clone slash slash. Is it boo dash examples? I might need to go into my uh, Google Cloud console really quickly. Okay, that bucket does not exist. Uh, I think I had boo dash jars maybe. Okay, we'll put it in boo jars even though that doesn't really makes sense. Uh, I can just delete it later. Submitting job. Okay, failed. Um, okay, cool. So, I mean, that's progress. Um, it looks like that the main thing is uh, my Google credentials are not making it all the way through. Um, and so that's the thing to figure out why my credentials aren't being passed through, but it looks like the job is actually running. Um, and it's probably outputting um, in the like temp mode when we give it the local path inside of the container, which is why I'm not seeing it pop up anywhere. Um, and so that's better than nothing. Um, I'm going to call that a win for today, uh, given how many times it overheated. And I'm going to uh, get into this jolt call up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I need... I need scissors for my jolt. I'll be right back.
Okay. So the drill cans are uh, bigger than I remember. I'm not going to be able to drink this uh, 473 milliliters before I have to run away to my next adventure today. So join me tomorrow where I will hopefully have the credentials issues fixed up and we can actually run our word count all the way through. Um, I'll do that at 10.30 a.m. Again, uh, or, or actually what day is tomorrow? Better not be the 5th. Cool, yeah, can definitely do that tomorrow. So tomorrow, 10.30 a.m., uh, I'll figure out what's going on with the credentials, share that with y'all, and then we can have our word count example. And I can have some delicious jolt cola. Uh, and you can join me and Boo for more adventures. Um, if you're not super excited about word count for some reason, you can always join me on Fridays at 11 a.m. for live-streamed code reviews um, with a focus on Spark, but more than willing to look at other projects if other people in other projects are okay with me reviewing their code live. Um, so just tell me if you've got any, you know, big data pull requests in Python or similar languages that you would uh, like to have reviewed. Uh, and I'd be happy to help out. Anyways, uh, have a wonderful week, y'all, and I'll see y'all around. Do, do, do. Oh, yeah. We can go to our special outro screen.